Southern African Women in Aviation and Aerospace Industry is an NPO that aims to take aviation to the people, especially the youth of South Africa. In the month of October, they'll be hosting their second aviation camp for 100 schoolgirls. Through this camp, they will promote education and community building and expose those girls to career opportunities within the aviation and space industry. So for more on this aviation camp, we are joined in studio by Fundi Sitebe, who is a communication manager at the Southern African Women in Aviation and Aerospace Industry, and also who happens to be a pilot. Correct. So nice to have you. Thank you so much. Have Thank you me. been enjoying our broadcast this morning? I tell you, I think I was on the verge of tears as I was doing my makeup watching it. Yeah. And, and to say that the reason why we exist is to see a whole lot more of that, a whole lot more females flying and, and taking up in the skies. It is just amazing. It's yeah. saying that we're getting there as a country. A lot still needs to be done, hence the, the camp. But, but it's just goosebumps. It's yeah. amazing. It's so nice. And, you know, I think what really put it in perspective for me was, uh, I'm not in front of my Twitter account, but uh, somebody tweeted me saying that, you know, back in 1979, that's what, what they wanted to do. And they were said, definitely not. It's for men only. Don't even think about it. And, yeah. you know, now you look at it and, and now it's enticing women. It's wanting women to come into the aviation industry. And that's how things have changed. It's amazing. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And, and I think, I mean, even in 19... 1995, when I decided I wanted to fly, yeah, and it was still very much a taboo. I remember sitting in class and my male um, classmates, I mean, they cracked up laughing. It was how actually many, a joke. How many female counterparts did you have in there? Um, the students, if you have to look no, back at well, it. Well, at that stage, I was applying to get into a cadet pilot training program. I was still in high school. Um, but how I ended up training was I got funded. I was fortunate enough to get a sponsorship because I was just so hungry, so thirsty for it. And I didn't get into the typical cadet tra training programs. So somebody was just wowed by my story and actually gave me money wow. and paid for me to fly. So I was very fortunate. That's incredible. And that doesn't happen. That doesn't no. happen often because it's so expensive. And, uh, and that's why we're saying to the young girls out there, come, come your numbers the money is there just be able to channel your resources appropriately okay let's talk about that now because i think now you've really piqued our interest what is this camp all about so last year we had our very first camp so what we've done is so we, we've had career chats going out into the schools and motivating boy both boys and girl learners but we found that you know we speak to them but nothing actually it may stick but nothing happens as a follow-through so we decided let's actually then take it to the next level and actually have a camp where we have the girls for a week and we take them through a variety of skills, life skills as well, aviation, principles of flight, etc. So it was quite successful last year. This year we've decided to go big, we've decided to go bold. We've gone double the amount. We've now wow. got 100 girls that we're taking um, from the 6th of October to the 11th of October, all expenses paid, and we've got some fantastic sponsors. So it really is open to everybody around the country. Yeah. Um, Mango is sponsoring flight tickets, for example. So if you're not in Joburg, because the camp is happening in, in Joburg, you can we fly get, yeah. you to, to Johannesburg. Has the selection process taken place already? It's actually happening right now. Oh, good. Um, so, people can, so, so young girls can, can still apply correct. for this? Correct. Closing date is tomorrow. So it's I tomorrow. urge people that if you're keen, get onto our website, download the application and send it through to us. What are you looking for? We are looking for girls that just want to learn about aviation and space. The whole week is, you know, is centered around that. We're going to be going through to SAA, to COME, to ATNS, um, and we're going to be doing principles of flight. We're going to the space center out in how to be a sport. Um, so it's just, it's action packed. So we want people that are thirsty. We want people that are passionate about learning, wanting to learn about aviation, yeah. but they must have maths, pure maths, okay. science, and English. Um, and, and then when they send the application forms, they must send us their school results that are stamped as well. So obviously you have to have already matriculated. I mean, that's... No, no. no. Grade, grade 10, 11, and 12. So it is for grade 10, 11, and 12. Correct. Thank you. So uh, w w the website, is it your website that they must visit? Yes, they can go to www.gfpacamp. G-F-P-A-Camp. Correct. Okay. .za. Okay, good. All right, let's, let's put that on screen if, if we can, if, if one of our producers is listening. So that's gfpacamp.co.za. All the information is there. Correct. So it's for young female learners from grade 10 to 12. They must go there, apply. And this is, I mean, what an opportunity. This is absolutely, is this the second year that it's running? Leanne, this is the second year. And it's amazing how 
the year last year, we're still keeping in touch with the girls. Some of them have actually even got into the programs. Some of them are starting to fly this year. You know, it's amazing how you actually touch the lives of these girls and you see them developing and actually tangibly starting to fly. So this year, that's why we decided let's go bigger, try and catch more girls, try and entice more girls and expose them even more. Even our program is a little bit more intense, yeah. hence it's longer. Um, but the whole point is get a touch and a feel and a sense of what we do, of what we, you know, what if is about and get exposure to it and and obviously we'll then link you up with potential bursaries potential scholarships we ourselves are working to get um to putting towards um uh, scholarships um for for obviously after matric yes but you will be in touch with us you will be within our networks to be able to get that that information from that camp now in in terms of the face of the aviation industry right now. How, how is it looking? Because I know that today we really are, we are we're focusing in on the aviation industry and there's this SAA flight that is in, entirely going to become dead by females from, you name it, from the minute it takes off till it lands in the plane, out the plane, you name it. But what, what's the balance? Is it something like 80, 20% in the aviation industry? What are we looking at? Leon, I think 80-20 might be a little bit ambitious as well. Sure. Um, to be honest with you, from a, um, a license <coughs> perspective, and, and remember there's, there's the general um, the CAA, everybody, even the flight crew has to get licenses. So I'm specifically going to talk about cockpit, as in pilots, etc. Yes. Um, and I would say probably 95-5%. Wow. Um, and and so low. as much as we see what SAA has done today, and it's amazing, yeah. but the reality is that's not an everyday scenario. Okay. We're far from it. And there's lots of initiatives, I'll be very honest, that are trying to gear towards, you know, trying to equalize. But it's still going to take a lot of time. And I think the most interesting thing, Leanne, is if you don't catch them at a young age, you kind of lose them. So that's why we're trying to do the camp at a very early stage to try and capture that, that interest um, and not wait till a very a, a later stage. Yeah, yeah. You are a pilot, as we mentioned. Yes. Do you also, what, what kind of planes are you able to fly? Well, I'm a private pilot, um, so I, the, hence the two bars. Yeah. Um, so I just fly recreationally for the fun of it. I just love flying. Um, I fly little light aircraft, the Cessna 172s. Yeah. So I spend uh, my time flying out of Lanseria, just, you know, generally flying to different places, of, you know, just yeah. for the fun of it, really. Um, is it difficult though? Because you know, you look at it, and, and, and I imagine that being a, a pilot is a is a, is a very time-consuming profession, and being a mother and being a pilot must be one of the most difficult things. And and I think that's why then when you move into the airline space, the numbers tend to drop quite yeah. a bit because at that age we now wives, we now mothers, and and the focus changes. And what's also interesting, Leanne, is when you you know you have to have a, a medical as part of your license, a valid medical, and when you get pregnant that you're now limited in terms of flying. So that takes you out of the system. Yeah. You now have your child, you're now on maternity leave. So it takes a good chunk out of your time. And, and remember with flying, you get promoted as and when your hours grow. Absolutely, you've got to have so, X amount of hours. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's why we find that we need to almost have the support structure um, around women, just to, to say we're here, let us make the journey a little bit easier for you. Um, and, and that's why SWEA is one of the reasons we exist. Fantastic. Well, it is demanding. Every job is demanding. But, but there, it, it, especially if you have that passion, don't, don't let it die. There are women that have succeeded and you can be one of them. So let's move that statistic higher. Uh, because 5% women, when it comes to the cockpit, it's not good enough. So we can do better. Let's get that camp out there. The website address now. Uh, it's there on the screen. There you go. It's, uh, no, that's not the website. Let me do this again. It's www.gfpacamp.co.za. So it's just gfpacamp.co. Visit the website and you'll be able to find everything you need there about this specific camp. Thank you for joining us and, uh, and keep this, this amazing camp going for as long as you can. Uh, Fundi Sitebe is uh, also a part of this. She's from the Southern African Women in Aviation and Aerospace Industry uh, talking to us about this camp that's happening in October.